All right, we're going to go ahead and get started. And if you're still filling out that form, that's fine. You can listen at the same time. Um, let's go ahead and go to the first sheet uh, titled Meeting Minutes. This is the previous meeting minutes. Um, and I know three of you, this may be your first time, um, or you haven't been in a while, so you can get caught up on what exactly the last meeting entailed, um, what we discussed, and what we talked about. Um, so, first thing is the, I want to go over, uh, and what we discussed is the Polk County Heart Walk. Usually in SGA and PTK, we like to um, implement and provide networking opportunities as well as uh, volunteer opportunities. Um, and so the Polk County Heart Walk, um, which was put on by the American Heart Association, um, is something that we did last month. Um, and we had about three or four students go out and, and really set up for it the day before the actual Heart Walk um, happened. So and that, that took place at the Publix uh, Joker Merchant Stadium, which is where the Flying Tigers play. Um, and so we set up uh, banners, flyers, and little tables and tents um, for the event which took place Saturday, we went on Friday, this previously set up. Um, and I heard that went well. Uh, second thing is uh, Spirit Week we talked about, which was last week. Um, yes, so did y'all participate? I'm curious to get y'all's thoughts. How many were here on campus during Spirit Week? Just on Friday. Just on Friday? Okay. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You're here. Yeah. Yeah, first, but, and that's fine. Um, what y'all did here and what y'all did see, is there anything y'all thought was a bad idea or thing could be improved or uh, any ideas for the future? This is um, part of what SGA is, is um, definitely getting uh, different perspective, the student's perspective on how we can do it better for the next year. Um, so, and just to kind of recap, Monday wasn't anything. Tuesday we had the uh, second fall lecture series with the mayor um, who came and did a, a leadership presentation in the auditorium and we had, it was character day, so dress up as your favorite character, wear, wear your favorite character. Um, Wednesday was way back Wednesday, you can dress from a certain uh, era, uh, and we had uh, we had cheeseburgers in paradise on Thursday, but for Wednesday we also had like a snow cone uh, food truck of some sort out in the front, giving away free snow cones, which was it was hot, so it was nice. Um, and Thursday we had the theme of cheeseburgers in paradise, uh, which I might be too young to know the reference, but I know it now. Um, and so we had burgers from McDonald's, and I, I heard in the past we used to grill out um, hot dogs and hamburgers and. A lot of people actually like that, but it's a lot, it's, it was actually cheaper to get like 600 burgers from McDonald's oh, wow. than it was to rent a grill um, and buy the meat and stuff like that, which is interesting. Um, but a lot, a lot of students and, and faculty were like, where's the grill at? You know, you know, we want to do this um, instead. So that's something we keep in mind. Um, yeah, and then, I was yeah. about doing like burgers from McDonald's again. It would be like a cooler, so they stay warm. Yeah. They were kind of cold. That's true. Point, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yep, that is definitely a good idea. Yeah. Um, Friday we had a spirit day. We usually try to have a spirit day. We provided donuts um, and I donuts, coffee, um, and wear KU gear kind of thing. Um, if you have any ideas for the future or any critiques for the one we had in the past, um, if you have any ideas now, that's fine. You can. Uh, email me or talk to me about it um, but yeah we definitely want to get the students perspective on that and that's and that just happened and that went well um, we survived it was definitely busy but um, it's always a good thing uh, next on the uh, what we discussed last meeting is um, the, our SGA president bring up possible Spanish tutoring um, specifically for allied health students but it will be opened up to really anyone, any student, to help with patient communication and just really customer communication. Um, I, they see that there was a lack of knowledge when they went out to their clinical sites of interacting with Spanish-speaking patients, um, and they wanted to really get set up uh, a Spanish tutoring of some sort. Um, now that would be through the writing studio. We just got a new writing studio coordinator, so we're letting her get the hang of things. Uh, but 
any t tutoring related, um, it would be through academics. So um, that would be nice to have, um, and we are definitely taking note of that. Um, next, uh, bulletin board. Um, for selling textbooks, we've already discussed that is um, that is in the student lounge. If you have any textbooks and want to use utilize the bulletin board space to sell your previous textbooks, um, and advertise that you can. Um, and our office supply station in building two is still in the works. Uh, some further things on the announcements: Heather's Hope Foundation, which is a fundraiser we just we started last. Um, last month and it is continuing until this month uh, and Heather Soul Foundation is really a foundation um, and a charity organization to promote and help with domestic violence and October is domestic violence awareness month so that is something we wanted to partner with I know it was mentioned that some students wanted to participate in the 5k that Heather Soul usually puts on um, we since it is kind of too late, we're going to pass on that this year. Um, and I will go ahead and talk about the Halloween drive as well. Um, some students brought up the, the idea of having a Halloween drive to get old costumes or new costumes or candy uh, for children who are in need. Um, and those kind of things need to be planned uh, ahead of time. And that's something we want to do. That's something we wish we could do. Um, but we, I'm making note of note of it for next year um, because October is already upon us. There's not really a whole lot of time to promote it, to gather it, to figure out who to partner with in the community to give these things to. Um, so um, I'll kind of talk about um, an idea we have to kind of get ahead of the things and ahead of holidays um, and fundraising and stuff like that um, in a minute. Um, next, we have uh, fall lecture series. So I'm not sure how many. Raise your hand if you have attended a fall lecture series that we just started in the auditorium. Okay, one. Um, we had first we had uh, Dr. Aches, who is the chief academic officer of the Polk County School Board, um, and then this past October first we had Lakeland Mayor Mayor Bill Munts. Um, these are leadership presentations from leadership in the community coming on to the campus of Kaiser here in Lakeland, um, usually in the auditorium, uh, just to, to have, one, have a community um, involvement on our campus, but to also give a leadership piece for our students. Uh, and so we are having one for October, and now the next one for November will be Leon Battle from the company One More Child, which seeks to uh, be an aid to children who are in need in the community. He will be here in November. I don't have the exact date. Um, I think it might be the first or second week in November. Um, and he will be here. He will be in the auditorium, and we will have a, a time set aside for that for um, a leadership presentation for our third speaker for the fall lecture series. Um, career fair, which we just had. I'm not sure how many attended, but we just had it this morning from 10 to 1 o'clock. We had about 13 to 15 employers um, set up and have tables downstairs, um, which I thought it was, it was good, it was busy. A lot of students showed up. Um, did anyone attend that from here? The career fair, no, and that's fine. Um, and then lastly, if you want to go down to the discussion on the meeting minutes, some things that were brought up was a new student mixer. Our campus president wants the idea of, you know, for new stu freshman students, she said, are the number one students to drop out and not to really make it all the way through. And so she wants a way for students to be involved and get connected as soon as they get here. Um, and so a new student mixer where there will be a list of clubs and, and a lot of representatives from those clubs so that students can get connected. Um, that is something she uh, brought about, and that's something that will be in the works to possibly um, have on campus for a bit for the start of big semesters. Um, and president's forum, there was uh, President Ryder wants club presidents meeting, um, kind of a roundtable of sort, um, leaders and officers of each club that we have on campus to kind of talk with her, get their perspective on what have you been seeing on campus. Is there stuff you are unaware of or haven't been told? And how can we make this campus better? Um, so if that is something you want to be a part of, let me know. Um, that might be held once a month, once a semester. I'm not entirely sure. We just had our first meeting yesterday. 
Um, and any questions about last meeting minutes? If not, we can go ahead and approve it. Okay. All right. If you want to go now to the today's agenda, which is a similar looking sheet, um, we will be on today's agenda. Uh, we talked about the Polk County Car Walk. We talked about Heather's Hope, um, which is again a fundraiser we are still doing, uh, and the Halloween drive. Um, and I just talked about the first announcement of the Fall Lecture Series in November with Leon Battle. He will be here. Um, next, I want to go to the um, Leadership Distinction Program and promote this. this. This is a resource we have on campus. If you uh, passed out a blue sheet that this title, Leadership Distinction Program, if you want to look at that. And I will talk about uh, what that is um, and if you're a part of SGA and PTK, how that can be a benefit to you. So um, the Leadership Distinction Program is a really leadership workshops all uh, every month that the Student Services uh, Department uh, provides. So if you look on the blue paper, you have uh, if you just look at October 10th, which will be um, in two days, the next one is titled Civic Responsibilities. It takes about 15, 20 minutes. It's kind of this PowerPoint workshop of some sort. Um, and you learn about these different topics, civic responsibility, financial success, October 21st, um, getting the interview, and then November 21st, once you are in the interview, how do you conduct being in an interview, uh, December professionalism, jump all the way back to January, and these go on every single year, the same ones. You've got networking, uh, time management, and, and things of the sort, job search using technology, study skills. These are just helpful resources that, again, the student services provides. Um, and there, you get regalia, depending on how many you go, um, you attend. So students must participate in a wide number of leadership sem 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 seminars and community service projects based upon the length of their program. So the associates program, if you are in that, you would, you would need to attend eight leadership seminars, which are any on these, uh, on the blue sheet, as well as be a part of two community service projects. Um, and then you would get, again, regalia, you would, you would get I think a certificate to go along with your diploma and things of that sort. Um, if you're in the bachelor, bachelor program, you would need 10 leadership seminars, four community service projects, if you're in the master program, eight leadership uh, seminars and two community service projects, same as the associate. Um, and these are usually held in the auditorium. Um, and if you are interested, again, these are the dates. Um, and if you want more information or exactly where we meet, it looks like that's on the bottom actually. So we either meet at 1 p.m. or 5.15 p.m., which again, we want to. Um, just like SGA and PTK meetings, we want to uh, be able to work around student schedules, both day and night students. So if any of these interest you and you want to attend, um, 1 o'clock or 5.15 on these dates in the auditorium, unless, unless otherwise specified. And a little note here, financial success seminars are held at 11.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. or 6 o'clock p.m. to 7.30 p.m. And that's usually someone from uh, the office of the chancellor who puts that on just the financial success uh, topics. Um, so yeah, uh, so upon completion of the program, if you had say you're in your associate program and you attended eight leadership seminars and you uh, you have two community service projects, um, upon completion of this, you will receive a single red honor board to wear at graduation and denoted in commencement program, a letter of completion by the campus president and a student certificate. Any questions about the Leadership Distinction Program? Okay. All right. Let's move on to the next announcement. So uh, one of the sign-up sheets that I have on this table here, which is this one, um, in the month of August, the we went to, uh, we participated with the Lakeland, Lakeland Chamber of Commerce. Uh, they put on a tour series with nonprofits in the community of Lakeland. Um, and we went and, and toured Kids Pack, which is uh, a charity organization who provides uh, 
meals for children on the weekends because they get meals uh, Monday through Friday at school, but when it comes to the weekends, if you know if they have no support at home or resources, they don't eat until they come back on Monday uh, to go to school for their lunch. So Kids Pack is really they distribute and a backpack to students who um, sign up for this program. Um, and they are handed this backpack full of lunch for the weekend so that they can make it on to the next. And they focus on um, children specifically so that they hopefully can continue their education, complete their education, and break that cycle that they might be in. Um, but one of the impactful things when we did one, did go, was that sometimes they have to give a de de decoy backpack to the children because sometimes they'll go home and the, the parents will take the backpack, either eat it for themselves or sell it to get drugs or whatever the case is. Then the children still go home on uh, the weekends with no food. So sometimes they have to give a decoy backpack that the parents take, but then they hide another one in the closet or whatever the case is, uh, which is sad, but that's, that's part of, that, that's unfortunate for that. Um, and so the second nonprofit that Kaiser wants to be a part of and that we want to take some students to, specifically HBA, PTH students, um, is a nonprofit tour of Central Florida Healthcare. Um, and this is going to be the one at Lake, Crystal Lake Elementary School. Now, they have one there specifically to um, cater to the needs of that community um, and the families there uh, around Crystal Lake. Um, so it is family, it's a family center. Central Florida Healthcare. Um, and so the sign up sheet is here. You do have to register. So if you do want to go, you'll sign up and then I'll have to register you. That is October 14th. Um, for those who are interested, you can write that down. October 14th, I believe that is, it's in the morning. Yeah, it's Monday. And it is um, from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. So it's, it's one hour. And, and that's a great networking. Um, opportunity. Also, a great way to see maybe you want to work there in the future and you'll be able to get a tour of your future place of employment um, and connect with those who already work there. Um, the thing about this is um, if you do want to go, you will need to clear it with your instructor as well as your dean. So you can sign up and you can let me know and I can register, but if it's not cleared with your dean and instructor uh, for October 14th, which is a Monday, 9 to 10 a.m., um, won't be able to go. Most likely they will clear it. Um, and we took students last time, but that's something we want to, we didn't really do last time. Um, and we want to make sure we're doing the right thing in terms of clearing um, these, these sorts of events. So sign up sheet is over there. If you are interested, um, and you can sign up, clear with your instructor and your dean, and let me know and I can register for you. Next is another volunteering opportunity. It is a scare fair open house, which is uh, a open house that um, Kaiser puts on for the community of Lakeland. And it's a way to kind of attract future students and uh, really to be uh, a community resource during this Halloween time for children and stuff like that. Uh, we will need volunteers. Um, I believe it is from 4.30 to 8.30, so that is when we would need volunteers. Uh, October 30th, which is a Wednesday, and you would serve in the following areas, trunk or treat, cookie decorating table slash tent, maybe handing out some food. There's gonna be a bounce house, maybe um, kind of being in charge of that. There's gonna be a radio station, dance contest, as well as kids, games, tents. So that'll be from 4.30 to 8 p.m. on October 30th. Um, if you are interested in that, you can sign up. Again, we do need volunteers for that. Next, um, which is what I want to bring up again, uh, again, we wanted to do um, a Halloween drive for costumes and candy and that sort, but you know, October is already here and it's too late for that. But we do want some time, hopefully November, which is coming up next month, or December to have a plan storm or a plan to plan meeting for the entire next year of, for next year when it comes to SGA and PTK when it comes to uh, holiday uh, fundraising um, of this sort, or when it comes to volunteer opportunities, when it comes to networking opportunities, um, and as well as social gatherings. So we, me and Carly, um, who is the Director of Student Services, kind of thought of the idea, and as well as actually DeWitt, who was the President of SGA, wanted to do kind of a social gathering, go somewhere, maybe play bowling, uh, 
and just hang out outside of class, outside of the FGA meeting. Um, and we want to be able to do both. We want to really figure out a time that works best for y'all to uh, maybe in November, maybe on a Friday to where we maybe plan from three to four. Um, and then I, you know after four we go ballroom somewhere or we go somewhere to have fun outside of SGA PTK. Um, so is that something we're interested in? We want to kind of get a head start on planning for the next year so that way when October comes we already have an idea of okay we are going to do a Halloween drive and get costumes and get candy and we have that in place and have it set up have it set up maybe the month before. Um, is there a time in November or December that works? Is there a certain day of the week that um, works best for y'all? I am probably doing that. Fridays, okay. Um, and what, what time Fridays? Um, would it be something like a three to four to plan and then go out from four to however, or like a four to five, five to six? And, and again, that's something we can still discuss if we don't know exactly, but if Fridays work, we know at least we have a day. And as you probably, for most students. I would suggest later on in the evening, because yeah. even like the people that are part of um, court classes already, mm -hmm. if they're out in like clinicals right. or externships, yeah. they're getting off around 4 or 5 o'clock, so yeah. later on in the evening, it would Got probably it. be better, especially to include them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Right. I'm going to get with Ashley DeWitt, who again is the president of SGA, to kind of figure that out um, and, and give the specifics on that. Um, okay. Yeah, we want to be able to have like an hour set aside to just plan and for the next year um, and then have a social gathering afterwards. Okay. Uh, any questions so far? Okay. Um, last two things I want to do is what we usually do at the end is I want to give a brief uh, leadership uh, kind of presentations short that you can kind of take away um, that we kind of just want to add to the SGA PTA experience. Um, and so this time I want to talk, and it's usually on leadership topics, very similar to like the leadership distinction program. Um, and so this time I want to talk about productive self-reflection um, and why reflecting um, as a leader um, and really just as a person is helpful and beneficial for growing and moving forward. Uh, so a quote that I want to start with by Bryant McGill says, people who have had little self-reflection live life in a huge reality blind spot. Uh, so um, two, two questions to kind of have to think about um, is one, how many times do you intentionally stop and self-reflect on the day? Is that something you do or do you just kind of go through the day without stopping and reflecting and see where where have I messed up? How did I mess up? Where did I what did I do good? How did I uh, how did I succeed in this area and why? Um, what are some probing probing questions you ask yourself when you do reflect? If you do, um, so I want to give you five reasons why we should self-reflect as leaders. Number one, uh, to grow from our mistakes. It's pretty simple. Uh, without stopping to understand the foundation of our mistakes and what went wrong, we create the risk of uh, making those same mistakes again. Number two, uh, to remind ourselves that we don't know it all. Um, there is usually a, a additional resources at the bottom of your agenda uh, of a video, usually, or an article that goes along with um, the topic that I decide to talk about. Um, and it's just like one two minute video um, on how to develop leadership skills with self reflection. And the speaker says, leadership is a very humbling experience. The more you are placed in leadership roles, the more you learn about yourself. The more you realize you, in fact, you don't know anything at all. Uh, you learn there's still so much to learn, experience, and to live. Um, so, second reason to self reflect is to remind ourselves that we don't know it all. Three, to give confidence to our strengths. Um, we self-reflect, we can remind ourselves of our strengths and give conf confidence to push forward as leaders um, and to grow and continue in those areas that we succeed in. Number four, to be honest with ourselves. As leaders, sometimes we have to have our leadership face on and you know, there's no time to be honest, transparent, to really um, 
you know, take take the suit off and really just be normal. Sometimes we have to go, 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 and sometimes we need to stop and reflect and just be honest with ourselves um, and, and and really let that barrier down so that we can grow um, as a leader. Number five, last one, to recharge. Sometimes. Uh, you just have to disengage uh, with technology, you have to sometimes disengage with studying or whatever the case is and just stop and just reflect. Sometimes when I figured out that the student lounge had those windows, I'm like, I'm not going to be on my phone, I'm going to look out this window and just think and reflect. Because I'm on a computer screen all day, so I'm like, this is beneficial to me to just stop and reflect uh, and to really take a break um, and, and just reflect on the day. So. Uh, again, there's an additional resource if you want to check that link out that talks a bit more about self-reflecting as a leader. Uh, lastly, I want to we like to leave this time for uh, student discussion. If you have any, if you have any thoughts on um, how we can improve anything, or if you have any ideas for fundraising, or ideas for anything at all, or what you've heard from other students that might be concern or might be something worth talking about, um, this is a time to bring that up and so that we can write it down, make a note, and um, improve on it or know that we're doing something well. So is there anything, any questions, anything you don't want to talk about? And, and, and if there isn't, that's fine. That's a good thing sometimes. Okay? All right. Well, if not, that is all. That'll, that'll conclude our meeting today. Thank you guys for coming. Yeah. If you have any more questions, let me know. Again, the sign-up sheets for these two opportunities are on the table right there.